Go. Some people shy away from taking a, a warm or a flywheel off motor, especially the Minitrix ones. They seem to be quite tight. It's it's uh, in the shit. It seems hard to get them off. But if you know how to do it, it's it's not that hard. So I have in this case two motors, the two Minitrix motors. So this one has a brass shaft, and it actually makes it easier to take it off without damaging the warm. Um, the other one is a flywheel, this is from a Minitrix Pendolino. Um, the shaft is a 1.5mm and to take this off we have to hammer it out. If we could use a, a, a gear puller but with Minitrix often they are quite stuck. So first we're gonna, I know from these motors with the, with the, with the warms I'm not even trying to, to get it off with, um, with the gear puller. Because the shafts are 1.2 millimeter, which means if you're using the Tramfabric gear puller, which has the the smallest pin, is a one millimeter, and it's so tight, so you actually bend that pin. So with this one, we have to hammer off. Um, but with the one and a half millimeter flywheel, flywheel might be easier. So I'm just going to try this first with the with the gear puller, and see how that works. And otherwise, we're just going to hammer it out. Uh, a gear puller works like this. Um, this is part of the of the, the gear puller kit. You just slide the warm over the V-shaped uh, well, plate. Then we have the gear puller here, and you can change the pins. So d depending on how small the hole is, the diameter of the hole, you you take the right pin to go into that uh, hole. Um, so this will be the, the way you do it. And, and then you turn the pin in the hole and it will push the um, the motor out. But in this case, besides that it's a mini trick so it won't really work. Um, the hole is quite deep. Um, and you can't do it this way that the pin doesn't reach the end. So you might you can solve it by inserting another pin which is a smaller diameter than the hole. Uh, so you're actually pushing that, that pin inside, you're pushing it through with the, with this pin. Um, that will be a way to do it. Um, so in this case, we 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 still it's it's still handy to have the gear puller because this tool you can also make it yourself. Um, I have for what I do here, I will tape this to the device, so we don't have to worry about keeping that in place like this. And basically, what we have to do is hammer it out. So let's see. Just move it as far as you can, especially if, if it's only a, a warm and there's the, there's no shaft on the bottom. Uh, if, when you hammer it, the warm will hit the plate. And if, if it's not precisely, if it's not tight here, you will damage the edge of the blade. If it's more outside where, where it can sink deeper in, into this gap. Um, you will damage the blade. So just keep it here and if you want you can also put a piece of tape next to it here like that so you know it's not gonna slide away. Um, so now what you need to have is to, the right pin to hammer it. We're not gonna use the pins of course of the, um, the, the um, gear puller. You would damage those pins. So a cheap way to do it is by taking any axle, any any 1.5 millimeter shaft for an axle from a train, model train, the old, an old one, and you put it in the vise. We're gonna gonna show you how um, you can make that a good tool to go into the hole and hammer it out. Okay, so to make a pin that fits into the hole of the warm, we're gonna fit. We're gonna mount it in here like one third. And then I'm gonna take a well this is a broken file, use any file. If you use a rough file it goes a bit quicker and then at the end you can smoothen it. So move the file around and then check for the diameter how far you're going. So we didn't do much yet but 
continue. Alright, so 1.15 uh, as good as there. So we're trying to get uh, uh, um, the warm out, the mini tracks motor it has a 1.2 millimeter shaft and we're trying to get that warm out so we need something just under 1.2 millimeter okay so then we still have a strong pin at the bottom it is easy to make and you can make different diameters if you need one for the flywheel that will be um that's a one point five millimeter shaft on the um on the motor then you can use a thicker one then you can use the same axle if you have another one and then make it just a little file it a little bit so i had to make uh, i had to do this again um because the one I made was a little bit too short and actually didn't went all <coughs> couldn't it can't go through more than this, so I just made a longer one. Uh, this one will be handy if we have a warm only without the shaft at the bottom. Alright, so, so if I would do this, I can try it, but this is a mini trix motor, so probably it would need some some heating, otherwise you're hammering and you probably start denting the um the tool here from the gear puller. So what I will be doing is uh, heating it up a bit. Let's hope the uh, tape will not burn. Okay, to soften the, the brass, and then I'm gonna hammer it out. There you go, that's it. It's still out. <laughs> if you have to make a long pin because the shaft uh, to, to to touch the shaft uh, is 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 very deep, like we saw before with uh, with this flywheel, it's quite deep. Um, then if you would file it at the, on the sides, you will actually push it away. So you don't really get an, a nice equal diameter here. So in that case, let's see. You just hold a piece of wood on, yeah, yeah, like here. So and then you go like this. There you go. And I think that should be really be. 1.4 millimeter or something like that. Yeah, not quite. Alright, 1.3. So on this plate there are two sides. One is a, a thinner one, which makes it possible to get through, get into small spaces, like here. Um, and in this this case, it, this is not fine enough. This is not not thin enough to actually hold the the shaft here. This is wider and is also heavier, so you can use the other side of of this um, plate. So you can read like this. So we don't have to be afraid of damaging the plate. All right, so we're gonna put that here. I think we'll we'll see how uh, how it works if we can hit it out or we need to heat it up. So let's. Uh, Yeah. Okay. There it goes again already. It isn't that hard. So now when your your pin gets stuck, you can pull it out. Or you hammer it out with another pin. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so this one I just made if I test it with with a flywheel we uh with a flywheel, you can see. 
goes completely through until all the end of course but it's still part to make it a bit thicker to hit on if you want to take this to a more professional level you can use a piece of wood with a hole in it and it just it's just a little larger than the uh, than the pin so you can place the pin in it and you have something wide and to to hit on there's less risk that you bend the pin it's easy to make I went even further and made a, a brass piece for it. <laughs> 